you know, a good place to start was to quote from PJM what demand response is. And, and I think most of you know this, but it, it's interesting the way they word this. So demand response is a consumer's ability to reduce electricity consumption when wholesale prices are high or the reliability of the electric grid is threatened. And it's really this reliability aspect that we're gonna talk about today. So the basic concept of the capacity market is to provide PJM with various assets, and we'll talk about those assets in a few minutes, many different forms of which can be called to mitigate load constraints and or interruptions, thereby ensuring reliability. So that's really what we're gonna focus on. And the capacity market is really built around something called the reliability pricing model. And you can see in this graphic here that really what we're trying to do is, is gather commitments from generation assets or any type of load interruption capable resource so that the market can rely on those commitments and ensure reliability of the grid. So those generation and load management resources can take various forms. It could be a, a, a natural gas generation asset. It could be a battery energy storage system, or it could be your ability to curtail your operations for a certain period of time, thereby providing that energy back to the grid. The reliability pricing model provides for a variety of information and data streams that is gathered for your benefit to provide better decision making. One aspect of a curtailment service provider and what they offer is a clear, concise representation of this data so again, you can make better informed decisions. The reliability pricing model is based on a three-year forward pricing scheme. And we'll talk about that in a few slides as well. That pricing varies by zone. And there are a number of zones throughout PJM. And as I've mentioned, those resources then are, are committed three years forward. In, in a slide or two, we'll talk specifically about the auction the base residual auction and the incremental auctions. And, and we have some dates on what's coming up and, and, and which delivery period is covered. But the general scheme is to provide that three-year forward market for reliability purposes. 